you cannot go wrong in any of these points so secret is this i am going to show you uh, how my gd score was improved in 45 days from a rank of uh, 7000 to rank 568 in eight hi everyone i am dr gayatri i belong to the madras medical college 18 batch i scored rank 568 in neat pg 2024 and i am going to share with you the secret of how i could crack neat pg in 45 days of preparation This is going to be a detailed video. I'm going to share my strategy and how it helped. I found some techniques which could quickly boost my GT score, so I'm going to share that with you. We all know it's not possible to cover all 19 subjects quickly, and 45 days is definitely not enough time to finish everything. But I couldn't prepare during my internship, so when it got postponed, uh, I decided to give my best in those 45 days. I think focusing on the right areas got me the score of uh, 650 with a rank of 568. so i'm going to frankly explain every little thing that helped me here at the end of this video i will share how uh, my jt scores picked up gradually using these techniques um i really hope you get fresh perspective from this video to aid in your neat preparation journey without further delay let's get on with it the first point i would like to emphasize is this do not watch videos what i mean to say is if you're watching videos and making notes great but this will not count towards your active learning period uh since watching videos is easy it's a passive process the recall is kind of poor so you have to spend time actively studying the topic and trying to remember the points when you learn from notes you can focus more on the points you don't know and quickly skim through the points that you already know this i believe provides a wonderful advantage you have already cleared your university there are very few concepts that are going to be new to you it is only content that is new So don't get me wrong I have nothing against watching videos but I believe that in the last few months of preparation your efforts would be better spent on notes and revising them than videos Moving on to the second point start with revision notes Majority of the uh, questions will be from these topics I had uh, read Mauro revision notes at least 2 to 3 times in my 45 days of preparation uh, We know that the main notes of 19 subjects can be really voluminous and we can get lost in it So reading revision notes before main notes uh, helps us understand where to focus and highlight. That is, we'll find out the golden topics beforehand. So that will give us an extra edge. Next, you cannot go wrong in any of these points. Every single line in revision notes is important. It will be a keyword in a clinical question that will quickly lead you to the answer. Uh, the more number of times you read revision notes, the better the outcome. Next. Prioritizing subjects is really important. Not all 19 subjects need equal attention. For example, uh, practical medicine questions you'll be able to answer by correlating with what you did in internship. And clinical medicine is, is linked with so many other subjects like path, farm and micro. So, having medicine as your last priority, you might not lose out on your score much. Similarly with radiology, radiology uh, also linked with other subjects like If you've done the images of X-rays and CTs from the other subjects, then focusing on radiology might not give you much extra benefit. So that was the reason why medicine and radiology were my last priority. Next, uh, schedule in short subjects in between difficult subjects so that you allow your brain to cool down. Uh, next is finding a weak subjects. It so happens that sometimes we've done a subject well and we're confident about it, but our GT score is not proportional to it, or sometimes vice versa. uh we've not even done a subject yet it's not showing up in our weakest list so i believe that giving a couple of gts and analyzing which subjects remain in your consistently weak uh, list so that can be given extra importance and this will work wonders next use question bank wisely the knack to solving questions comes only by habit so say solving at least 50 questions per day any subject any topic is a must apart from this a lot time for subject wise question bank completion what i mean to say is in your schedule say a lot 15 days in which you have to complete question banks of all subjects in my 45 days uh, i had completed question banks of all the important subjects and my weakest ones as well so prioritize according to your weaknesses but i think completing all subjects question banks would be a really good aim the next most important thing is i had made notes from question banks segregated subject wise I'm just going to show it to you now. Uh you're going to ask me why I did this. Uh see, uh solving questions is not just to practice MCQs. Question bank itself is a learning tool. It has so much new content that is not there in uh, you know notes or videos. And question bank highlights important topics. 
So making really crisp notes from question banks related subject wise is really useful uh, because now you can include these question bank notes itself in your revision phase. This will definitely give you an extra edge. Next is make proper schedules. Stick to your schedule like very quick. Uh, like know your working capacity and plan accordingly. Don't make extravagant schedules that will fail. Next, solving previous year questions. Solve PYQs at least twice. Uh, the first time you solve it, it can just be a part of your daily MCQ routine. And definitely solve previous year questions again during your uh, last week before exam. Last but definitely not the least, giving GTs. I gave GTs every week uh, during my preparation. This is something everybody advises, but it's easier said than done. The first few GTs will put you in despair. But trust me, uh, ignore the scores and just stick with it consistently. You don't have to complete all the subjects to start giving GTs. But what you should do is, you have to patiently read the question. Even if you recognize that it's a subject you have not yet read, just read the question and try to rule out at least two options and go with a guess answer rather than skipping it. Attempting questions that you have no clue about needs confidence, but this is a skill that we can develop over time. Reviewing the GT is yet another nightmare, but don't worry about your score or your number of errors. Your goal should be to review your errors before the next GT, that is preferably, you know, weekly. Uh, I am going to show you uh, how my GT scores improved in 45 days from a rank of uh, 7000 to rank 568 in meet. The target is just to keep your score improving. Um, so I'm going to tell you how my GT scores improved. It all comes down to revision. Start revising early, don't wait till you finished all the subjects. Next is there's something called magic of second day. If you read a topic today, solve the questions tomorrow instead of solving it today itself where you will be answering from short term memory. So if you do it the next day, it counts as a sort of quick revision. Uh, nobody likes revision because it's really demotivating to find that you've forgotten most of the points. So, and you keep procrastinating the revision phase. Here's how you can love revision. Uh, during my preparation, I had maintained the note which contained points from all 19 subjects segregated, which would be from revision notes or the important points or new points that I'm finding it difficult. So this note, I had another set of QBank notes as well. So these two would be my go-to places for revision. So every week, my routine was like this. On Saturday, I would revise uh, as many subjects as possible from these two notes, the note and the QBank notes, as many as possible and give my GT on Sunday. That last minute adrenaline, you know, to do well on your Sunday's GT will keep you going through Saturday's revision. So this was my routine and I would continue the next Saturday from where I had left off in the revision notes. So secret is this. Um, read, revise the note, give GT, repeat. The idea of this video is not that 45 days is enough to crack neat. But if I can do this much in 45 days, imagine how much you can do in a couple of months using these tips. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, this also emphasizes that it's never too late to start. So start sincerely from today and all the best. If you found it useful, like and let me know in the comments or if you want any other further videos on how I made crisp notes or how to make schedules that never fail, let me know too. Thank you and all the best.